I even understand the thinking of calling me a faggot and mob mentality and having muscles on the internet, right? These little young dudes think they're tough because they lift weights and listen to Breitbart and Fox News and all of that stuff. However, there's, there's so much more to this life. This is why I do Man Cave. This is why Conscious Man Brotherhood exists. Blessings and blessings. What's up, family? Um, here at the office, I'm gonna drop in and have a conversation uh, about something really interesting that happened two times this week. It's funny enough, uh, one of them, was, it was a group, and uh, it was essentially me versus uh, about, mm, probably about, 25 of them. And then the other one was a woman, um, and I'll get into that one as well. But uh, I think it's interesting, really, really interesting. And I wanted to have this conversation because I think that we as a culture, as a society, get to really look at what we call people when we want to hurt them. As if uh, being what they would consider homosexual it is a bad thing. Um, and so, uh, let me just tell you two funny stories. So, first one, I'll start with the woman. So, uh, I am in what you would call uh, an engagement group on Instagram. And somebody added me into it last week, and I said, you know what, let me see. Let me see how this thing goes. And they added me into the group, and the, the whole point of the group is for you to follow everybody in there and then comment on each other's stuff because the algorithm will favor uh, if a bunch of verified people with 100,000 or more followers comment on each other's stuff, like and comment on each other's stuff. And so I get added to this group, and I immediately notice that there's only one other person in the group that's like in my industry. Everybody else is like makeup and fitness and um, musicians and DJs and all these other things, right? And uh, quickly began to see, and a couple what you would call booty models are on Instagram with like uh, 1.5 million, 2 million followers, that whole kind of thing, right? And um, most of their stuff is just like their boobs and like that kind of thing, right? Nothing wrong with that. However, uh, we all get to choose from alignment, right? And so I start in this group, this engagement group, quickly see that there's a few people who the way and what they're sharing is completely out of alignment with what I say I stand for. And so no, you know, nothing against them, but I am not gonna follow them and comment on their stuff. What you're supposed to do in the group is every time you have a new post, put it in the group and then everybody goes, oh, cool, and then they go to your thing. Well, I put one of those in there and I got a message from, from inside the group in front of everybody, in front of this particular woman who said, Preston, um, something, 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 I'm skipping yours, you haven't been liking and commenting my stuff. Now this person has like 500,000 followers, right? But she's concerned about me liking and commenting on her stuff. And I shared with her that I won't be liking and commenting on her stuff because it's out of alignment with what I say I stand for. Nothing against you, it's just not my thing. To which she responds and calls me a faggot. Um, classic gay and a faggot. Um, to which I respond, well that's really unfortunate and deeply disrespectful that you would need to call me that, especially because I knew that there were uh, other people in that group that were actually uh, chose their sexuality and it hap they happened to be gay. And so, of course, she quickly backpedaled and all that stuff after talking a bunch of stuff to me and saying, well, this so-called love messenger was being mean to me and all this stuff. And some people in the group, quote unquote, sided on my side and were like, yo, that, like you took that way too far, right? So that's one, right? This is a woman. I'm just sharing this because this other story is a little more uh, hardcore. So there's a guy um, in my space who's been doing it for years. A lot of people look up to him, big following. He has recently decided that he thinks Trump, Donald Trump is an awesome human. And so he's gonna put Trump things up on his page, which at this climate 
can be very divisive. And so recently, he did it a couple weeks ago when a bunch of people unfollowed and a bunch of new people followed, right? MAGA, right? And he's, so, so recently, he put a Trump picture and then he also put a picture of him holding a machine gun with a red MAGA Trump hat. To which I went to just look at the comments because I was like, huh, this is interesting. This guy has a, you know, a pretty diverse group, mainly 25-year-old white dudes from Omaha, Nebraska, right? Which is no big deal, but that's mainly who follows him. And they all want to be strong and strong and buff and uh, right? And it's a lot of, some of those dudes like do a bunch of steroids and stuff like that. And so I'm reading the comments and I'm starting to see this, this mob mentality, this bullying where people will say things like, you know, person, I don't necessarily agree with this thing because X, Y, and Z. To which all the sort of 26 year old um, Trump supporters jump in and like call the monkey, you, you must be a stinky Mexican. You, all this kind of stuff, right? So like a lot of it to the point where I'm like, okay, this is interesting. So I choose one comment to comment back on, to which then a gaggle of dudes jump in and talk all this crap about me and, and call me a faggot and ignorant and you liberals and X, Y, and Z and you must not be smart and calling me all kind of names and stuff like that. And of course, each time, oh, they called me soy boy as well. Like soy, S-O-Y, soy boy. To which, you know, I had a little fun with it. Pressed back a little bit. Not, not disrespectful, not like, like calling them faggots and things like that, because that's just not in my nature. But definitely coming back at them. Because that's, I'm, I'm not scared to have that conversation. I'm very well informed and this is not necessarily about that conversation, but about the mob mentality and calling people faggots and using that as a de derogatory language to hurt, be hurtful. Calling people monkeys and faggots and dirty Mexicans. This type of thinking no longer has a space in our world. We can disagree. Like the guy who's, who posted this picture and has the hat and the machine gun and all that stuff, like, all good, bro, you get to do your thing. I had a guy come on on the last comment, go to his page and see all of this if you know who I'm talking about. And he said, uh, Preston, stop wasting your time with these small hearted guys. Spend it on your wife and kid, right? To which I responded, like, I understand where you're coming from and it assumes that I'm wasting my time. I know that I am, I am them. I am, we are Ubuntu is a actual thing. Like these young 26 year old sort of Trump supporters who happen to be Caucasian guys from the Midwest or whatever the case may be are not separate from me. And I, under, I didn't understand the thinking of calling me a faggot and mob mentality and having muscles on the internet, right? These little young dudes think they're tough because they lift weights and listen to Breitbart and Fox News and all of that stuff. However, there's, there's so much more to this life. This is why I do Man Cave. This is why Conscious Man Brotherhood exists. Because there's a bunch of little kids in big boy bodies who haven't actually owned their man. They don't really know how to sit in the fire. They know how to regurgitate some shit that they heard or read, but they don't really know how to be in their bodies. And it takes a conscious man to hold space for that young man. It takes a conscious man to sit in the fire with them, eye to eye, energy to energy, and not be a fucking afraid to look them in the eyes and say, step up, little man, step up, I got you. I may dress different, but where I come from and how I used to be, I'm melding those worlds together. I am them, just a little more traveled, a little more understanding of what's really happening here. And so I want to judge them and I want to hate them and I want to call them names. And yet the truth beyond the words, beyond the Trumps, beyond the system, beyond America, beyond Western culture, beyond white privilege is there is only one of us here. And that is why Man Cave exists. It's why Conscious Man Brotherhood exists. It's why I do the work that I do. 
These men who are really just little boys in big men's bodies believe that manhood is muscles, cars, money, sex. For anybody who's offended by, by those people calling you faggots and all of that stuff, like I hear you and I feel you and it's tough, but uh, as Jesus said, and I know you guys know I'm not religious, um, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. I think these little, little guys are, are just misguided and they're looking for direction leadership. So I, I beg of you, if you know a man, any man, send him to us. Send him to Man Cave. Love and light.